Have you ever wondered just how good Nemanja Vidic was? It's a query that has tantalized the minds of many a young fan. Look on Twitter and you'll soon find critics aplenty claiming that Vidic was nothing more than a shadow trailing behind his defensive partner Ferdinand, or worse, that he was a mere mortal, prone to mistakes like any other player. Who is this man that evokes such divergent opinions? Let me tell you that Vidic is not just any man, he is a titan among footballers, a five-time Premier League champion and a conqueror of the Champions League. But that's not all, for Vidic has another accolade that sets him apart from the rest. He has twice been crowned Player of the Season, an honour shared only by Thierry Henry, Cristiano Ronaldo and Kevin De Bruyne. And yet, despite all his achievements, Vidic now finds himself disrespected by many. How did this come to be? Let's uncover the truth behind Nemanja Vidic. The date was December 25th in the year 2005, when fate decreed that Nemanja Vidic would join the ranks of Manchester United, leaving Spartak Moscow behind. But this story could have been quite different, for it was known that Fiorentina, the illustrious Italian side, had also set their sights on Vidic. But the stars were not aligned in their favour, as the team had already filled their non-EU quota on the roster. And so, in a twist of destiny, the path was cleared for Manchester United. And it wasn't long before Vidic donned the famous red jersey and made his debut in the League Cup semi-final in January of 2006. And since that day, he wasted no time in establishing himself as a vital member of the team. The season that followed was nothing short of spectacular, as fans were treated to his physicality, leadership and defensive prowess. After three years without a title, Manchester United were once again crowned champions, with Vidic's impact proving to be nothing short of immense. For the man himself, it was a dream come true, as he lifted his first league medal after just one full season with the club, a feat accomplished by few. And if that wasn't enough, he also made the PFA Team of the Year in his rookie season, solidifying his status as a rising star in the world of football. But the success did not end there, for in the following season, he formed a formidable duo with Rio Ferdinand that struck fear into the hearts of their opponents. No team could match their defensive prowess, for they conceded the fewest goals of any team. And so, in yet another epic title race with Chelsea, it was Manchester United who emerged victorious as champions once again. The accolades poured in for Vidic and Ferdinand. Back-to-back -back appearances in the team of the year, a feat reserved for the greatest of defenders. They were more than just a partnership. They were a force of nature, and some would say they were the greatest defensive duo in Premier League history. And who could blame them? As Manchester United looked to do the unthinkable and capture their third consecutive Premier League crown, Nemanja Vidic's impact on the team was nothing short of extraordinary. In the 2008-2009 season, he stood tall as a rock at the back, helping United achieve a remarkable record of 14 consecutive clean sheets in the league. He was the only outfield player to feature in every single one of those games, a true testament to his immense skill and unwavering commitment to the cause. But it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows for Nemanja, for he was to be embarrassed by a prime Fernando Torres of Liverpool. Not only did United lose to their rivals, but Vidic was sent off too. Liverpool were in hot pursuit of the title, but ultimately it was to no avail. Manchester United emerged victorious once again, and it was none other than Vidic who was crowned Premier League Player of the Season, becoming the first defender to ever achieve such a feat. But as Manchester United looked to defend their crown in 2010, they were dealt a severe blow. The one and only Cristiano Ronaldo had departed for pastures new in Madrid. And try as they might, United could not muster enough strength to reclaim the title, for it was Chelsea who outscored them by just one point. United were once again able to concede the fewest goals in the league, but this was still a season to forget for the Serbian, for he was to receive yet another red card against Liverpool and fail to make the team of the season. Vidic needed to bounce back in 2011, and he did exactly that. With his last man tackles, goal line clearances and towering headers, he proved to be the cornerstone of Manchester United's backline and established himself as a once-in-a-generation defender. Against top rivals like Manchester City and Arsenal, Vidic was a rock, delivering brilliant performances and keeping clean sheets as United remained unbeaten for the first four months of the season. But Vidic suffered some setbacks along the way, including a red card against rivals Chelsea. However, he bounced back in style in the rematch in May with his vital goal and exceptional defensive display. And once again, United secured the Premier League title, which was his fourth with the club. Not only was he a defensive powerhouse, but Vidic also had an eye for goal, scoring five times that season, more than top performers like Gerrard, Fabregas and Silva. 
and ultimately, Vidic was once again deservedly awarded the Premier League Player of the Season award for the second time. Vidic is commonly known for being a tough centre-back, with a no-nonsense approach to defending. But there was another side to him that people sometimes ignore, such as his awareness, leadership and ability in the air. He was a complete defender, and he deserves to be recognised as one of the best Premier League defenders of all time. But sometimes his aggression did come back to bite him, and his play style came with his fair share of red cards and penalties conceded. It's also without question that he did have one of the greatest partners you could ever ask for in Rio Ferdinand, who undoubtedly played a role in his illustrious career. But make no mistake, Vidic was a vital part of Manchester United's success in the late 2000s, and he deserves to be remembered as one of the best.